Hello everybody, welcome to another Love Byte Battleground Byte Battle match. And this time it's Eldroid versus VC. And uh, my name is Super Rogue, and with me today is Flopin. Hi everyone, thank you for having me, Super Rogue. And uh, yeah, their keyword is going to be garden. So that's uh, going to be excited. Yeah, I can't wait to see what they will come up with. Yeah, I think uh, Flopin, if you had this keyword, you would run with it, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would make just flowers everywhere, colorful flowers. <laughs> and we will start soon. 10, 9, Nine eight, 8, 7, 6, 5, five 4, four three, two, 2, 1. And we're off. Let's get started. Yeah, so both contestants already hard at work. 10 seconds in. Hello! Old Rogue says. <laughs> Demo or die. I like that. <laughs> Couldn't think true. Okay. Yeah. Aldroid uh, clearing up the code and starting from scratch and then uh, VC building on what's there. Yep, with a nice print at the top of the screen. Let's see if he can keep it. <laughs> Minifying the pix function, calling it just p. Yeah, I like that you can do that in Lua and in on the TKT. It's it's super easy to minify the yeah, it, it, function it's, calling. It's great that that is available because otherwise uh, you would be able to do a lot less in the in the size. Mm. Oh, and we already have repetition on the on VC side. Yeah, it looks like uh, VC is copying pixels from uh, the top line where he, uh, he did the print statement and then copying it all the way down. Mm. Um, it seems like he's doing something different for the beginning of the screen and then something yeah. else for everything. Oh, that's so cute! It looks like pines. Little pine trees. Yeah. Good one, Aldroid. Can't see. I, I can't wait to see what they will do with that. This crust. No, it doesn't suck, Aldroid. Keep going. Ooh, what is that on this side? Yeah. Also using the uh, ellipse function here. Oh, back to oh. triangle. Also, both our contestants using triangles now. Oh yeah. Oh no, Cirk B. <laughs> okay, so yeah. if I remember correctly, Cirk is a circle, but Cirk B is just the outline of the circle? Correct, yes. Okay. Ah. So I guess that's the same with Ellie. Ellie B is... Yeah, boundary the... maybe, or border, probably. Mm. And uh, the same is true for a rectangle as well, so we have rect B. And okay. I would assume for ellipse function as well, LED. Okay. Oh, oh my! Wow. <laughs> okay, did not expect this. Me neither, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> That's a good effect. My gosh. I really I, love it. Yeah, I think this is the... Wow, okay. It's actually scrolling. Yeah, good one, Dizzy. Demo or die. Oh, that's really smart, copying uh, 
I think uh, the print is done on top. You can so you can see the original text right there, and then uh, pixels are read from the top eight lines, and then you uh, for indexing uh, different data. Okay. That's really smart. And on Aldrich's side, we have a, a, a nice pine forest in the wind. I like how they try to really stick to to the theme. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, people can vote for their favorite effect, but also how much did the candidate stick to the theme? Uh, that will definitely uh, weigh in on the on the voting. So, uh, yeah, if you can do something cool, great. If you can do something within the theme, even better. Oh, but if if VZ is copy, uh, copying the pixels on the first eight line, it means that he will not be able to delete it at the end if he needs some bytes. No, 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 it needs to stick in there if he is going to use it. Mm. Yeah, uh, we can see Aldroid setting the custom palette as well. So uh, uh, you can stick with the Sweetie 16 palette and go with the 16 default beautiful colors. But you can also choose to set your own colors, uh, but it will take, uh, of course, uh, some bytes of your code because yeah, you have to set it. And what is the address Aldroid put yeah, on their code? Yeah, that's, so that is the address of uh, where the palette is, uh, uh, is located. So for each color, it will look up at that specific address what the RGB values are and then uh, uses that to draw the pixel. Okay. So it's like an index uh, a color lookup table. Okay. Oh, wow. Look, <laughs> at that, look at that sign scroller. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> and funny. But not in the theme. No. Uh, I hope he will maybe yeah. have an idea to bring up the garden part. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and Elroyd well within the theme, I would say. Mm. So yeah, uh, we ask our contestants uh, uh, a bit of trivia. Um, and uh, for Elroyd, uh, uh, favorite PC of is uh, PC. Uh, what? What they like most about size coding is the fame of money <laughs> and money, <laughs> of which there is none. Uh, you didn't choose the right uh, <laughs> thing to do then. <laughs> no. Um, Eldrod active in the demo scene for six years. Other hobbies, very interesting. Dance, capoeira, and guess what uh, What more, uh, Flopine? Gardening. Mm. Gardening. Yeah. That should fit within the team. <laughs> Favorite uh, demo uh, for Eldroid would be False Spire, which is a beautiful Tick 80 demo. Have you seen it, Floppy? I don't remember the title, but I've seen many Tick 80 entries since uh, the first uh, bite, the first Love Bite. Yeah, so this is demo. actually a full size demo. Uh, you should definitely check it out, and anyone should. And I think it's in uh, in our uh, uh, fantasy console uh, demo show as okay. well. But it's it's just so such a beautiful demo. Um, and favorite movie or series is The Expanse. For Eldroid. But yeah, uh, False Spire, definitely check that out. I will. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Moving grass. I yeah. like how the perspective is in there. Yeah, the they added uh, depth and it, it's working pretty well. And Eldroid still having the hello in there. <laughs> And this grass sucks, but it doesn't suck anymore. You've better bet on it. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think Eldroid uh, spent a lot on on uh, on setting the right colors and palette because it, it doesn't look like the standard Sweetie 16 green colors, but I could be wrong here. Yeah, when you're trying to represent something, uh, even if you're doing a bit of an abstract work, mm -hmm. it needs to have some connection with the real stuff. And I think on Android side, they choose to do it by the color, I guess. That's yeah. why they put so many time on it. Yeah. And on VZ side, we still have the awesome scroller but still not in the theme I not would still say. in the theme yeah i'm curious how that will uh, progress and let's be honest there's still enough time on the clock uh, 50 minutes left mm. demo or die well at least uh fizzy is going all in <laughs> Tweaking the parameters, the colorization. Is the SCN function is uh, for scene, like for doing another screen, or? Yeah, it's a function. So you can see L as an argument there. Uh, that is called for each scan line. So uh, this mm, would okay. be able and looking at the, yeah, I think Aldroid, I think they try, yeah, okay, they're trying to do set a uh, background color for each scan line. So you get this nice uh, shade for the uh, sky gradient. Oh, that's a way of doing a non detailed gradient, kind of? Yeah, because you're setting just one color, probably the, uh, the zero background color. But you're setting it to a different color each scan line. So it's mm. an old trick used for on older machines like the uh, Nintendo and the Commodore. Uh, that also works using the SCN function uh, in TIC80. Okay. Raster bars. But um, why does the bottom is all blue? Like we have a small line of like maybe I would say eight line of bluish and yeah. just before the black. Yeah, so it's. I think it's slowly. It's a gradient for going from blue down to black, changing each scan line. Okay. Yeah. This is seem to seem to stick with his uh, demo or die scroller. Yeah. Oh, more wow. animated grass. Oh, that really looks sweet. Yeah. Maybe Aldroid tried to put another layer of depth by uh, decreasing the size. Yeah. Of yeah. Definitely, and then sort of fading it away into the uh, blue, bluish uh, background. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, if uh, if it's about sticking to the team, uh, Eldred, uh, they're definitely kicking it. Uh, VC's effect, very cool as well, of course. But uh, yeah, still not much of a garden theme there. Nope, but very glitchy, I like it. <laughs> yeah, do you like your glitch? Yeah. <laughs> VS would be proud of you. <laughs> yeah, you know, I um, when I tried TKT for the first time, thanks to you, um, I did uh, like super glitchy stuff, and that's what I liked it mm -hmm. because when I'm doing remarching in GLSL, I have such high standard for myself that I I have trouble just accepting glitches in ah. remarching. But right. in TKT, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not that. Uh, perfectionist ah. and I, I like seeing glitch on TKT mm. also because it has uh, already this pixel like big pixel feeling right so yeah well that's, uh, that's great to appealing. hear that you uh, kind of feel more free 
uh, they are as well to experiment. Yeah, yeah uh, I think for having talk about it with other artists in general, not not only creative coders, but well, when, when you achieved a certain uh, level in a medium in the art medium sometimes mm -hmm. doing totally something else helps you to be more free for sometimes <laughs> because yeah. you don't have standards <laughs> yeah so yeah we're nearing the 10 minute mark so 10 minutes left to go uh, Let's see how our contestants are on size. 243 against 255, so both well within limits. That looks sweet. Yeah, and still having 10 minutes to improve is uh, is nice. Yeah. So uh, let's have a look at Visi. Uh, he's from Finland. Favorite platform would be, uh, or language would be processing. Uh, what, uh, what he likes about uh, live coding is making happy accidents turning ideas into moving visuals. <laughs> Active uh, in the demo scene since 2003, and other hobbies include movies, animation, games, and e-cycling. So I'm assuming uh, that would be cycling using electric bikes. Oh, you think that's it? Yeah, I'm... I'm hmm. uh, favorite demo, Large Unified Theory by PWP. I think that's a Vic 20 demo, so that's a it's really uh, low key demo. But uh, yeah, favorite book is Diamond Dogs. Favorite movie, A Clockwork Orange. And VC says I once showed Atari 2600 demos. Uh, that we made uh, to Al Lowe, and Al Lowe is the creator of, uh, I think, Leisure Sweet Larry and Shira. Oh. And, uh, yeah, he liked it, and he also had a printout of the Le Leisure Sweet Larry source code with him. So uh, that was a nice evening. Oh my. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Actually, doing some scaling there as well, the scroller. Still not so much garden, no. but uh... yeah, we have to wait how that will uh, weigh in with uh, with the final voting. Uh, is he still going to add garden esque teams, or just sticking with the scroller? And how will the public vote? Uh, what what will we do with that? Mm. I, I guess. Like in my opinion, Garden is a pretty large theme in a way that you don't have to do maybe flowers or grass or maybe like Garden is also about growing stuff. So maybe something that evolves and seems to grow in a way, maybe mm -hmm. vertically. So I, I think there are quite a lot of room to do something with Garden. And uh, so I hope Vizi will maybe find a good idea. Yeah, definitely some scaling going on there. And uh, the Aldrid grass is uh, kind of soothing like to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fall asleep, Fafi. Don't fall asleep on us. Oh, I can't really. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I did like the layering that uh, Aldrite had going on uh, a little earlier. Now it's a bit more flat, but yeah, but like you said, very soothing. Yeah, it's 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 more flat as you say, but you you feel the movement a bit more. Like the the movement and the animation is right. uh, at least to me seems cleaner. <laughs> Is that messing with anyone else's eyes? <laughs> a bit, Aldrid, but in a good way, at least to me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe all Aldrid is getting a bit uh, doozy, uh, sleeping, watching, uh, <laughs> watching the effect. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe, um, yeah. I definitely would. <laughs> yeah, zone out on your own code. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I actually have this great anecdote I have to share because uh, I think it was years ago at the party in Denmark was still going on. And uh, at that time there was a group, uh, Halcyon, doing very uh, glitchy and flickery effects. And uh, uh, there was actually a Halcyon coder coding uh, the effects and uh, he got a seizure and uh, and seizured on his own effect. And I had to uh, drag him uh, behind his own uh, <gasps> monitor. Uh, oh my! Yeah, that's what you get for being in a glitch group, I guess. <gasps> oh gosh! Yeah. Oh no! But yeah, he was fine. He was fine. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was a bit scary. I guess. Oh my! Yeah. Hopefully, you reacted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I did have a bit of uh, well spit uh, on my hand <laughs> from oh. the seizure, but uh, yeah. He managed. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah. is dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that was just a side anecdote of people getting too much into their own uh, effect. Oh, I do like the uh, sky that Aldroid has uh, right now. Changing up the colors. Yeah. It takes some, uh, let's be honest, it takes uh, some bites away. Just uh, spending all these bites on getting the correct palette, getting uh, like a sea and a sky and yeah you can see all the poke functions it really takes up space but yeah it's maybe they can uh, put poke function in p for example yeah yeah that will work a bit yeah like it, it will crunch some bites but yeah, yeah they are at 293 so yeah tough yeah, aliasing poke to P would definitely help out here. And Aldor is well over limit right now, like 293. So that's, mm. that's quite a bit. With 3 minutes 40, 3 and a half minute ish on the clock. That's. Ooh. This is the time to, uh, to squeeze down. Okay, I'm getting a bit nervous, Floppy. Help me out here. <laughs> Uh, oh, the uh, Aldroid is doing the P ah, equal yeah. poke thingy. Oh, you called okay. that well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So now I guess they can. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think they also alias the uh, address uh, and then. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that would save as well. Okay. Yeah, that would work, and that would be V plus one. Oh, sorry, I'm just coding with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, VZ has a really interesting thing there. I really love it. Go, Aldrid. Go crunch those bites, please. <laughs> <gasps> Two minutes 30, still well over oh yeah i'm getting nervous here now, now <laughs> i know what it's been, what it's like to be a okay <laughs> yeah and with, with my own knowledge which is not so much i really don't see where they can again when they can crunch some bites there yeah oh. yeah that's yeah you have to come up with some kind of structure for the three pokes maybe uh, but yeah, you can uh, crunch down the, the T is time uh, divided by 320 a bit. Just add your uh, own T variable and, and, and add it with a small number. That mm. would work, but uh, that that still doesn't bring you to 256. Oh, 253. Yeah, happened. they, they uh, removed the, the, like the oh. slice. Like yeah, it's yeah. just one oh, gradient yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah, that will work. Yeah, some, sometimes you have to make sacrifice for the yeah. size limit. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how I roll. Just just go all out and then realize I'm like a hundred bites over and then have to kill uh, all, uh, all kinds of babies. Not literally, but goat. I think the vote on that one will be quite difficult because I really love VZ effect, but mm -hmm. to me it doesn't stick the theme. But yeah. then what is... The most important, I, I don't have the... 
and we are under the one minute mark, so... Yeah, this is... Oof. Uh, oh, Aldroid still over limit. Yeah, oh, please. Oh, please, please, please. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> yeah, I'm removing the X. Yeah, still works, still works. Okay, okay. Okay, are yeah, they on yeah. there? Yeah, oh, they are, they are. Okay. <laughs> 30 seconds! Yeah, this is dance. There it is. Imagine when you're on. <laughs> yeah, you, you win. So. <laughs> okay, almost 10 seconds left. Okay, 5, 4, 3, 2, two. One. One. And yeah. we're done. We're done. So, yeah. Shout so, out uh, to both coders. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, I mean, shout out to both. And, and uh, like you said earlier, the, it, it's going to be very interesting where the public will vote. Will we go team or just uh, kick ass old school scrollers? Uh, will they go for soothing grass? Will they go for glitch? It's very, uh, it's too hard to call this. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but uh, that was an interesting match to comment. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, yeah, I think this is it for us. And uh, enjoy these effects. Uh, go get a vote registration key and vote uh, who's going to progress to the quarterfinals. Bye-bye. Bye, thanks.